My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. You're, you're leaning back. You've got too much lean back. Too much weight on your back foot there. Your head is too far behind the ball. Look how far your head is behind the ball. Okay? Now look, nobody does that with 7 iron, 8 iron, whatever you're hitting, 6 iron. What are you hitting? 6 iron. Huh? 6 iron. Okay. I want you, your, I want your shoulders a little more level. How much more level? Well, You're at 18, he's at 8. Where's his head? Um, it's, uh, yeah, pretty much over the ball. A little behind it, maybe the center of his head is a little behind the ball. Certainly not where you're at, though. Yeah, All right, well, that's going to cause you to hit thin shots. And it's going to cause you to hit with no power because you're not going to be able to get to your left side. Well, see, so you compensate. You get, you're behind it. So you're moving forward. And now you got to back up. So, it's amazing to me how, how athletic that swing is. It's so athletic. I mean, for you to hit the ball, you're using all the vertical force that your body can create. You see how you push up? You're generating so much vertical force there, but you're losing so much power with it. Now your head's not dropping like it used to. It used to drop down way more. But, I mean, your goal the rest of this year is to spend about 20 to 30 minutes at night pushing your arms into extension and practicing getting your left arm straight. I don't even care uh, how many balls you hit. I don't. I, that is irrelevant to me. You've got to practice in s slow motion, creating, pushing your hands as far away from your body as possible. And you can see your head goes from in front of the ball. Now you're backing up and bending your arms. So there's no way to get power from there. I mean, it's amazing to me you're hitting the ball that far. Look at the difference between him and you. I mean, I don't have to show you. You can see it. Yeah, I can see it. 